And now, please welcome one of the co-anchors of CNN, Susan Hendricks, and New Jersey Hall of Fame inductee and Apollo 11 astronaut, Montclair native, Buzz Aldrin. Buzz. We were talking backstage and having a huge laugh. Welcome to the fourth annual New Jersey Hall of Fame award ceremony. How about it for Southside Johnny, La Bamba, and the Hubcaps? Two bands. Aren't they great? What a great night, really, and how Big Hanford, amazing inductees tonight, really give them a, a round of applause. So I do have to say, Buzz, I was looking into the audience and I was saying, you know what? Where's my teleprompter? Something's missing. <laughs> And they said, we're on cutbacks. Come on, you got the papers. That's all you got. So we were laughing about it, Buzz and I. But I do have to say, before I go any further, there is a rumor that Buzz brought something back from outer space in 1969 that has never been explained. Pause. Buzz, do you think NASA can do something and send Snooky back to outer space? Yeah! <laughs> I know a few people over there in Washington, D.C. Maybe we could do something Let's about do that. It. Yeah, why not? Oh, I'm just so thrilled about the inductees here tonight. They're just a real um, uh, inspiration to all the children who are our future, really. From Queen Latifah and Mary, Mary Higgins Clark, uh, Tony Bennett. And John Vassalone, New Jersey exports our talent. I took it a long ways <laughs> to the moon. We have a state museum that's uh, being put together, and it's all going to be ready, I think I've been told, in January by the State House. And there's a mobile museum exhibit that is going to go around to a lot of different uh, classrooms to help inspire the children for generations to come. You know, I, I meet a lot of Navy pilots and uh, Marine pilots, uh, not West Pointers, not Air Force guys. And, and I live pretty close to Beverly Hills, but I, I have yet to find a fighter pilot in Beverly Hills. <laughs> you know, most of these people think New Jersey is just, uh, oh, I don't know, some neighborhood of Philadelphia and across a, a river from New York. They just don't realize how wonderful New Jersey is. We get poked a lot of fun at, but, but you know, we have the best Hall of Fame in the entire country. Now, Susan, we're here to introduce a very special person. Right? Oh, yes, and I'm so honored to do that. And as Bruce Springsteen said at the inaugural event, he said, you know what, no matter what, how many awards we get or how many events there are, there's always going to be that New Jersey joke, but just stick it in their faces, baby. <laughs> and Bruce said it better than me, trust me. <laughs> but again, it's our pleasure, Buzz and I, to introduce the honorary co-chairs of tonight's event, two people who are as proud to be New Jerseyans as any one of us here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Governor and First Lady of New Jersey, Chris and Mary Pat Christie. <laughs> Night. What a great song going on there, too. Well, thanks, everyone. It's a thrill to be here. And uh, I am really honored to be here and be one of the co-chairs of tonight's evening. Uh, there's a lot to be proud about in New Jersey, and this is just one of the many things. Um, it's my job to thank the Gala Committee and the Board of Commissioners, as well as the Foundation Committee, for all their hard, their, all their hard work getting this thing off the ground. And most importantly, I would like to uh, thank you, the sponsors, and the supporters that also helped to make this night possible. 
It's a, a real thrill to be here at the fourth annual, the fourth annual uh, Hall of Fame induction, uh, one of many to come, I'm sure. And it's now my honor to introduce my husband, the governor of the state of New Jersey, along with two of our four children, Bridget and Sarah. Well, good evening, and welcome to the real New Jersey. Uh, I was talking to folks on the red carpet on the way in, and they, they asked me what makes tonight different than some of the other publicity that New Jersey gets regularly around the country. And what I told them is that what they were going to see tonight is not some of the stuff that they see on MTV or on some of the other depictions of New Jersey in the popular media, but tonight you're going to see examples of the true greatness of our state the grit and the determination of the New Jersey people. And so it's one of those nights where it's really thrilling to be the governor. Uh, this is one of the nights where I'm actually popular with my two daughters. <laughs> they get to come backstage and, and, you know, I saw, really honored to be introduced again by Buzz Aldrin. And last year when we came to our first ceremony, uh, as governor and uh, the first family of New Jersey, uh, we walked into this little green room event beforehand, and my daughter Sarah uh, said to me, Dad, look, it's Buzz Aldrin. And I said, wow, this is our education system. is phenomenal. This is great, right? This, Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon in 1969. I mean, that was... It, you know, that was almost 30 years before she was even born, and she knows about it. And I said, so, wow, Buzz Alter, pretty exciting. She goes, yeah, he was on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Poor Sarah. So good historical reference, different historical reference, but still really good. And I saw Buzz tonight backstage, and he said, greatest publicity I ever got in my life. So tonight is a really fun evening, on top of being evening to celebrate the accomplishments, the achievements, and the greatness of the folks who you will get a chance to meet personally tonight to celebrate the great traditions of our state. It's also a great night to look to the future, because what these folks show us through their accomplishments of the past is what our children, all of our children, have within them to accomplish for the country and the world in the future. So tonight is not a night just to look in the rearview mirror and take a bow for the things we have accomplished. It is a great moment to look on the horizon to the future and know that there is much more greatness for New Jersey and our citizens to come. So thanks for supporting the great things of New Jersey, and thanks so much for giving us a chance to be able to represent our great state. Thank you all very much.